At Friday's session of the budget debate, Minister of National Security Ed Mandillon said he cannot disagree with the opposition leader's statements, but added that the crime situation didn't spiral out of control overnight. This government find crime is intolerable. As Minister of National Security, I am concerned about the crime situation. But what I can't understand is that the member of Superior comes and paint a, a, a situation as though it has now started. As though she just, and you know, she used an analogy yesterday in her presentation, quoting from a fairy tale book. But I believe that she was actually Alice in Wonderland yesterday. And I tell you why, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Because when you look at the situation of crime, it did not start it today. Though the problem continues, he said the government is not about to surrender, as suggested by Tabakit MP Suruj Rambachan. When you surrender, it suggests to you that there's an action of last resort which means in the area of national security, we'll call a state of emergency. That is when you surrender. And this government, that is when you have no more options. You have no more options, and then you call a state of emergency. This government will never call a state of emergency because we always have options, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Minister Dillon said one of the contributors to crime was the collapse of the bail bill in August. Some 620 prisoners were able to access bail after the deadline. These people have been in custody and because of the, because of the bail act, falling apart, they applied for bail and they got bail because some of our suspects applied for bail, according to Hodge Griffith, the Deputy Speaker. As it relates to the Joint Border Protection Agency, he said it could be a game changer for national security. Our next step is to ensure that the policy and the recommendation gets to cabinet, which I will do in the shortest possible time. Because I believe that the maritime security environment is one of our vulnerabilities, one of which, once you can treat with that, will make a difference in the issues of crime and criminality insofar as the movement of guns and ammunition in Trinidad and Tobago. Minister Dillon said some of the measures they've adopted to treat with the issue of murder is to increase the security presence within the communities, mainly hotspots. As it stands, there are 260 cases of murder in Trinidad and Tobago. He said the Trinidad and Tobago Defense Force is also playing an active role in the fight against crime. Another measure the ministry takes pride in is the police youth clubs as it targets young people and deters them from a life of crime. Mahalia Joseph, C News.